Food is an essential part of our everyday lives. It's vital for our health and survival. But food is so much more than just what's on our plates. It's a way for us to connect with our family and friends and a bridge between different people and cultures. But despite the overwhelming importance of food, many of us don't realize that our food system is under threat. The natural systems that we rely on to grow our food are beginning to buckle under the pressure of our increasing demands, unsustainable practices and climate change, whilst allowing one in nine of us to go hungry every day. Thankfully, the agricultural and industrial revolutions of the past prove that we are capable of rapidly transforming our food system when we work together. To picture what the UK food system could look like in 2050 if we transformed it to meet global challenges, let's explore four hypothetical scenarios, each with its own advantages and pitfalls. The first scenario describes a low emission future where domestic food production is boosted by the UK's world-leading, ultra-efficient, low-carbon technology. More food is homegrown, making the UK less vulnerable to global food shocks and decreasing the negative impacts of the UK diet in other countries. However, the mechanisation of the food supply chain has increased unemployment, and rising food prices have reduced food choice. Malnutrition and food banks are commonplace. The countryside is dominated by mega farms that produce food and energy, leaving little space for wildlife and recreation. In the second scenario, the UK food system is characterized by the drive for sustainability and a local production for local consumption ethos. The UK's wealth and land have been redistributed amongst the population giving rise to a new generation of farmers who have diversified food production and boosted biodiversity. Local markets are at the heart of society, reviving the UK's forgotten foods, seasonal eating and creative ways to use food excess. Public policy is designed to make nutritious, climate-friendly food accessible to everyone. Although the youth have developed strong food ethics, Older generations remain nostalgic for the abundance of cheap, unsustainable foods they grew up with. This causes generational tension, especially when UK food production is disrupted by extreme weather. The third scenario describes a food system that's been decarbonized by replacing agricultural land with plantation forests and renewable energy farms. The UK is largely dependent on food imports, with only a handful of large-scale commercial food producers remaining. To protect the UK from global food shocks, supermarkets have shifted from just-in-time supply chains to maintaining huge stockpiles of long-life, fortified, ready meals. Fresh and whole foods are increasingly harder to come by. Carbon pricing was central to achieving this food system, but lack of support for rural communities and the poorest in society has deepened inequality and mental health problems. In the fourth hypothetical scenario, global governance and trade arrangements determine which foods are grown in which parts of the world to maximize yields and improve sustainability. The UK's primary export is red meat, with a world-class livestock system that emits minimal greenhouse gases while supporting biodiversity and reforestation. However, it's a luxury product, so the UK population eats mostly plant-based protein. This shift has reduced diet-related diseases and created space for wildlife to flourish. Technology has made the global food system low carbon and fully transparent, and most food production and supply chains are managed through cooperative structures. Citizen assemblies now inform UK food system policy, but it's taken a long time to increase public participation. This lag has allowed special interest groups to capture these platforms to sow doubt over the sustainability agenda. These scenarios describe just four of the countless possible futures that we could face if we reshaped our food system to meet today's global challenges. But they all have things in common, 
such as changing dietary habits, reducing food waste, and paying the true cost of food. These changes may seem overwhelming, but business as usual is simply not sustainable. In a world connected through food, transforming our food system means so much more than just our continued survival. It's a revolution to create a better world for all of us. And just like the agricultural and industrial revolutions before it, this revolution will take collaboration, innovation, and a willingness to change. Our world is in our hands.